What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new showdown card and it is going to be Carl Walker to review today. EA, why did you do it? Why did you do it? We all know how good his inform is when playing in a centre-back position and then they've gone ahead and gave him a showdown card. A card that has the potential to go up by a further plus two. Like, what am I actually seeing? But like, look at the stats on him. 95 pace with 85 dribbling, 87 defending, 89 physicals, and the 84 passing as well. He looks like a beast. Let's say it straight. Let's say it straight up. He is a six-foot player with high, high work rates, three-star skill moves, and a two-star weak foot. They didn't actually give him a skill move or weaker foot upgrade, which is kind of disappointing in a way, but hey. We, he was a beast with those with those skill moves and weaker foot, so he's going to be a beast now. So it doesn't really matter. Now, when it comes down to the chem stole, there's two chem stoles you could go for when playing with this card. One of them being the ank chem stole and the other one being the sentinel chem stole. If you want to go with the anchor, go ahead and do it because that's what I'm going to do because of that pace. We all know how important it is to have a defender with pace in this game. So giving this guy 98 acceleration and 99 sprint speed is going to be massive. So yeah, that is the reason. I've gone for the anchor but the other reason you could go for the sentinel is because of the plus 10 interceptions and the plus 10 defensive awareness but I'm gonna be real I do feel like 92 interceptions and 89 uh, defensive awareness is simply enough so for me pace is gonna be the way to go so the anchor himself is to be is gonna be the way to go with Carl Walker now moving on to his shooting ability it looks okay there's nothing you know, special about it. Like, yeah, 94 shot power looks very good, but everything else there is pretty much at like bang average. So we're just going to push that to a side. We, I doubt we're really going to see Kyle Walker in like a shooting opportunity. So I feel like the shooting isn't really going to matter. Now, moving on to the passing ability. He has got 76 vision, 90 crossing, 78 free galaxy, 86 short passing, 84 long passing with the 84 curve as well. Once again, doesn't look crazy good when it comes down to his passing ability, but I'll give it a go when it comes down to overtopping it down the line. We're going to see how it goes. If it doesn't work out, it's going to be understandable. Now, moving on to his dribbling ability, he has got 81 agility, 84 balance, 92 reactions, 86 ball control, 86 dribbling, and the 82 composure as well. His inform card felt pretty good on the ball, so I'm expecting this card as well to feel pretty good on the ball, but obviously a little bit better. Now, when it comes down to his defensive stats, this is where, you know, the stats really, really come out to play. Like, look at it. 92 interceptions with 85 heading accuracy, 89 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling, and the 99 slide tackling as well. We all know how good in-form Carl Walker is at putting in tackles. Now, just imagine how good this card is actually going to be. Now, moving on to his physicals. He has got 99 jumping with 9 97 stamina, 96 strength, and a 90 aggression as well. You're telling me, Carl Paul Walker is going to be one of those players that is going to be easily catching up to those, you know, those team of the year Mbappes, and he's going to go over to him and probably push them off the ball. Hopefully, that's what I want to see today. Either way, when it comes down to the links for this guy, English, City. Links are simply amazing, but I have personally gone for icons because I haven't got a lot of people that links up to this guy. Obviously, I could do this and he's still going to be on full chemistry, but I might as well just put Hullet there. So yeah, I've got Hullet and Desai just get him on full chemistry. The positions that I'm going to be trying him in, it is obviously going to be the right back position, but I will be trying this guy in the position. I feel like a lot of people are going to be playing this guy in and, and it is going to be the center back position in a 4-4-2 formation. So let's get into the games. Through that middle, Carl Walker, can you not allow that turn? Well played, man. He just stuck with Royce there, just waiting for the perfect moment so he can obviously turn into him. And obviously, it was going to be a solid tackle. Pass it into the middle, maybe. Carl Walker tracking that on rerun perfectly. Even though the pass didn't get to on re, I'm pretty sure he was meant it to. But hey, Carl Walker right there was tracking him perfectly. So even if he got the ball to on re, I doubt he would have got passed. He's going to get in behind, isn't he? I switched to Carl Walker. Look at that pace, man. Oh, my God. And that's foot birthday Royce. Keep that in mind. Foot birthday Royce in behind. And Carl Walker catches up to him with pretty much ease. There's a massive gap through that middle. Don't allow that pass. Oh, we actually got really lucky there. Little, little dribbling here. See how he feels on the ball, you know? He doesn't feel too bad, to be fair. Yeah, he, I'm going to be honest, he feels very similar to his in-form. Very similar. Like, there's not much difference right there. I can see the touches are still a little bit off, but it's not the end of the world. It's definitely, you know, good enough to play in that centre-back position. And look at that switch all the way to the other side. No pass into the middle, maybe. Carl Walker, continue to get there. Are you going to get there? Well played. 
Oh, I thought for a second he was actually going to get that ball a bit loose and Henri was going to go for an interception. But we keep it calm and just take the easy way out. He's going to pass it to Henri, isn't it? Oh, we tried to transition over. We're actually going to deselect Carl Walker. And I want to see what he does. Is he just going to cover the inside? He is going to cover the inside. And we do well to switch back to him and just put in that tackle. Or even block, if you want to call it. Press out to him. Don't allow the turn. Is he going to pass back? He is. We're going to continue to keep up that press. Cut back again. Keep it on. There you go. The way he's transitioning over is honestly unreal. Like, he's definitely one of those players that you can press your opponent with. You don't want to sit back with him. Try to get into their personal space as fast as possible. Pass it down if you can. There you go. Pass it into the middle to Royce. Good scoop turn. Kyle Walker's making that overlap. I'm going to see if I can give it to him. Is he onside? He is onside. But Varane, is that a penalty? Is that really a penalty, EA? For me, Varane won the strength battle there. Like, no way. Yeah, no way that's a penalty. That is so, so soft. But I'll take it. Carl Walker, where are you, lad? You're going to step up to the plate. And can you... Oh, my God. He's got 69 penalties. You know what? Even though he's got 69 penalties, we're still going to go for it. Chip towards the top bins, boys. Yellow timed. He didn't dive the, dive the right way. And we are going to get the goal. Carl Walker, simple fake shot. I'm going to cut in. Oh, he actually uses his stronger foot. I thought it was going to be a good ball, but he clearly, clearly wasn't. But I'm actually interested how he used the stronger foot in that occasion, even though I was forcing him on that two-star weak foot. It's kind of weird to see, but I guess it's the right move to kind of do. Give it to Hurley if you can. There you go. Pass it down the line to Waman. We pass it to Carl Walker. He's going to be onside. I believe, I'm going to be honest, no, the pass is going to be off. And that is because I wibbled it and I didn't actually able it. If I able that, it's easy, easy sweat across goal. And we actually get the finish. Inside, Carl Walker transitions over. He does well to intercept it. R1 dribbling, perfect. Oh, not the greatest touch though. And then we're going to lose the ball. This is what I mean. You don't want to overdo it with him because if you overdo it with him, oh, I actually thought it was going to concede that. If you overdo it with him, you'll get into those kind of situations, which you clearly don't want. Flick, maybe. Hold up. Wait for it. There you go. It didn't really go for the flick, but look at that strength. Keep it going. Keep using that strength. Keep holding off Mane. Oh, my God. Look at this. Fake shot around the corner. Nah, that's when we lost it, when I actually implemented skill moves. But, oh, I thought we was going to get the ball back. But look at that strength. To be able to hold off a player for that long is really, really impressive. No turn here. Carl Walker gets straight into him. Couldn't get out to him fast enough. See if I can maybe go in for a slight tackle. We missed time it, and we're most likely going to get a yellow card for that. Ball roll. RBY all the way. RBY, I meant to say LBY all the way over, and we are going to get it. That's a good, really good pass, actually. See if I can score with this. Pull it. Down. Dummy. Oh, some made over with a crazy good tackle. I'm going to allow him in behind, and I want to see how quick Carl Walker is going to catch up to this Mbappe here. He transitions over. He's out to Pogba instantly. Transitions again and he puts into a tackle. One second, he next, he's next to Mbappe. The next second, he's literally next to Pogba. I'm telling you, this guy, <laughs> it's going to be hard to get past him. Let's just say that, boys. Press out to him. Couldn't get there. Oh, I've screwed up with Alaba, but we still have Cole Walker. He is going to get beat. No turn. Well played. He recovered. I'm kind of surprised, by the way, that Mbappe got past him there. I really didn't feel like Carl Walker was going to get beat there, but he clearly did. But he did well to actually recover. Carl Walker, get out to him. Is he going to try to skill us up? I feel like he is. We're going to wait for that perfect moment. We're going to go in for a sly tackle. For a second, I did feel like the guy, you know, completely skilled us up. And I thought it was pretty much game over. I thought it was gonna, we was actually going to concede there. But hey... Carl Walker with that beautiful recovery and what a slide tackle. He passes into the inside to Pele. He's going to see if he can get past me. You're not going to get past Carl Walker that easily. We put in a solid tackle and we come out with the ball once again. Go for that high press. Oh, he's actually turned us. Is he going to pass an extra pass to Pele? He is. He turns really well and for a second... I actually thought he had a wide open opportunity to take that finesse shot. But Carl Walker, out of nowhere, literally comes over and puts in a beautiful block. Oh, we couldn't get there. Oh, this is a 2v1 situation. He passes to the inside. He gives it back to Pele. He's kind of screwed it up because he slowed down the play way too much. And we were just transitioning over, going to Neres, going back to Pele. And we eventually come out of the ball. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Carl Walker. We got a single goal and we even came out with a single assist as well. Boys, 320k. 
is how much he is going for. He is worth it. 100% he's worth it. The ability this guy has in game is simply amazing. But even the links as well is also insanely good. You can link this guy up with Team of the Season Edison, Team of the Season Cancelo, Team of the Season Ruben Diaz, Team of the Season KDB. Who else? You got Showdown uh, Nathan Ake. You got Showdown uh, Zinchenko. There's so many, so many good players you can link this guy up with. It's simply outrageous. So yeah, for 320k, it is worth it. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, even though there was a certain occasion that he did, he did actually get outpaced from Mbappe, he was a player that eventually caught up to him. So I'm going to be honest, for the pace, it's a 10 out of 10. It's simple as that. Shooting ability, even though we scored a goal with him, it was a penalty. So I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to give him a shooting rating. So for that, we're going to push that to a side. Passing ability. It was okay. There was nothing like crazy, crazy special about it. Obviously, he's got a two-star weak foot, aka the left foot, which wasn't the most consistent thing. But when it came down to the short passing, it was perfectly fine. So for passing, I'm going to give him still a good rating, but I'm not going to go overboard, you know. So for the passing, I would say an 8.4 out of 10. I feel like something around there is where he deserves it. Dribbling ability. Even though... This guy has had like a plus 14 to his agility and a plus 10 balance. I think it's plus 10 or plus 13. Something around there. I'm going to be honest, you guys. There's not a huge difference when it comes down to the dribbling between the inform and this card right here. Like for me, the inform never felt like it had 67 agility and 81 dribbling. It never really felt like it. It felt like he had more. So with this card... I'm going to say it feels very similar to the inform when it comes down to the dribbling. And I am going to give him, I would say, like an 8.3 slash an 8.4 out of 10. Moving on to the defending. I'm not going to give him a 10 out of 10 because if I give him a 10 out of 10, that's when pretty much I'm saying that his defending ability is as good as someone like Tap Sober. And for me, I don't believe so. So for defending, it is going to be very close. And I would say a 9.6 out of 10. It's that transition speed that really makes this card like extremely good with that pace and the ability to put in the tackle he puts it's just it's so good in this game so yeah for defending i would say a 9.6 out of 10 and for the physicals hmm i am gonna give it i'll probably say like a 9.6 out of 10 as well he is a player that bodies and i repeat board these players out the way but once again i don't believe he is a player as strong as someone like tap sober or someone that as strong as someone like a uh, team of the season fellaini but an overall rating out of 10 boys i am gonna give showdown carl walker I would say a solid 9.6 out of 10. He is an amazing card, but obviously there's some aspects to his game that you have to be careful with. One being the passing ability and two being the dribbling ability, not being obviously, you know, the greatest, let's say. But boys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.